Hello everyone. In case anybody expected for the war in Ukraine to miraculously end with the whatever that was that Prigozhin did and his subsequent disappearance, you're going to be very disappointed. Putin made it very clear that the war in Ukraine remains his priority and he has pretty much no intention of stopping. Meanwhile, Prigozhin remains under investigation, although he hasn't been seen or heard from since yesterday, I think. And uh, his mercenaries have been given an amnesty and uh, told to basically join the official Russian army. The interesting part about all this is that Putin said nothing about what happened today. I mean, not a damn thing. And yes, Ukrainian troops did take advantage of the weakness uh, in the Russian armor um, and made some progress. But again, it's not Hollywood. Once again, quoting Zelensky. Uh, so no fireworks are going to happen anytime soon. There is something I wanted to bring up, however. And that is that this latest incident is further proof that Russians are incapable of doing anything. They're incapable of even doing a decent overthrow of the government. I'd like to remind everyone how nine and a half years ago, 20,000 Ukrainian civilians armed with um, steel beams and tire irons and Molotov cocktails made at home came out to Maidan in Kiev to overthrow pro-Russian government by Yanukovych. They were faced with the elite Ukrainian troops, basically the equivalent of America's special forces. The troops facing them were armed with uh, uh, rubber bullets, real bullets, grenades, flamethrowers, you name it. Nevertheless, these people succeeded. I remember reading about girls packing pretty underwear with them in case they're killed so that they don't go to the morgue in ugly old underwear. I remember people packing backpacks with old newspapers and magazines and basically hanging one in the back and one in the front, and that was the only body armor they had. And yet they succeeded. They overthrew that man. And here we have 25,000 supposedly elite mercenaries who have been fighting wars for decades at this point and they were armed to the teeth they had everything they could and they failed